Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this awesome Petri dish resin coaster. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using my Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy and Alcohol Ink from Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm also going to be using Blanco Blanco by Pinata, and I'll link all these materials down below in the description box. I filled my mold up about a quarter way with just clear resin, and now I'm going to go in and drop my inks. And the key to getting the Petri dish effect is using the Blanco Blanco by Pinata. On this coaster, I'm actually using the Vivid Pink and Vivid Purple from Dryer Days Art Studio, and I'm also going to use some gold. Now I'm going to go in with some mica powder. I mixed up a pea size amount in a about three ounces of resin. This is an interference blue mica powder. And I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera, but if you're new to resin and you wanna see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, I'll link one of my tutorials down below in the description box. And now I'm gonna go in with Surf's Up White from Island Micas and More. I added four drops in three ounces of resin. And I also just went in and added a few dollops of the interference blue pigment as well. Now we're gonna fill up the mold with some glitter and gold alcohol ink from Dryer Days Art Studio. This is the next day after the first layer is all nice and dry. This project is so easy and I feel like they just always turn out really awesome. The, the petri dish technique is so much fun and this one actually got a lot of really cool depth in there. Here we are 24 hours later ready to demold it and you can see there's so much fun texture. And that textured effect is from the Interference Blue Mica Powder that we added and the Surf's Up White tint that we added after we went in and did those squiggly lines that um, those pigments just kind of push down through that ink layer and they give you all of this fun texture. I think that these are so fun. I hope you guys give this a try. These are super simple and easy to make, a great project for beginners. And here it is in some better lighting. You can really see that sparkle from that beautiful gold holographic glitter from Dryer Days Art Studio. I'll link all the materials that I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. I have a coupon code for Dryer Days Art Studio and I get these molds off Amazon. I'll link them down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please go check out a few more of my other videos. I'll leave a few of my favorites right here at the end card screen. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video. Watching some of my videos back to back really helps out my channel. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.